Hey Keith. <laughs> so glad that one of us have done this before. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Can't see anything. Wow. So just those tiny little black things. deeper at the back so it's not going to bloody slide down okay? okay so what you do is you do the back one first okay, okay? so you just step out of your thing No. <laughs> what is it? Is, it, is there a name for doing that, or, or is it just digging a hole in the snow? Yeah, like it's good, good, good effort for your first one. Next time you want to get a little bit deeper, okay? So your sides are parallel or perpendicular to the slope. They're a bit slanted at the moment, so yeah. they should be perpendicular. And you should be should be up like that really, yeah, okay? Yeah. And you are a little bit deeper into it, yeah, okay? okay. So you're kind of looking out of the hole, you know, that way, yeah? And then you can't budge, you know, so if you ever use the belay device... Okay, yeah, I could feel that now. If there was weight pulling on me, yes, it yeah, would pull me so over the top. So I need to be deep enough to, to, deep enough to resist anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, I can't see five feet in front of me. Don't know where the world begins and ends. Oh, did I learn? Yes, I learned a huge amount. Oh, came close to freaking out with terror a few times. That nursery school stuff that the rest of you guys would take completely for granted. But sure, I mean, that's part of learning. If you don't scare yourself a little bit, you don't learn. But like, I mean, apart from the, the skills with the crampon and the axe and digging out holes and um, the different ways of walking with a crampon, just this walking in a complete white blanket of sky and ground and you can't see where the earth stops and the earth begins. Wow, that was an experience. <laughs> That is just gorgeous. I mean, it's been scary moments up there for me, not for Keith. He's been fully in control of everything, but I'm not used to this. Oh, but it does look beautiful. And the 
mist blowing in there, but you can see where everything is now. Back up there, you're walking along the, the spur. And I've learned what a spur is by walking on it. A finger of land falling away to either side. And in this case, we're gradually coming back down it. So it's dropping. But in the whiteout, you're following your compass, or Keith is. And I'm watching what he's doing with the map in wonderment and hoping he's right, <laughs> which he was. But also, um, you're literally seeing the ground falling away beneath your feet. So if, it, if you're going down to the left or to the right, you know you're going off the spur. So Keith and these amazing navigator chaps and wonderful guides who go out and bring people like me out on mountains, this is, I suppose, old hat for them. They, they know all the tricks, but for me, that was scary because I, I couldn't trust me because I don't know enough. So I'm trusting Keith and being a bit of a control freak. That's hard, <laughs> giving over that. But I suppose, you know, he told me all the factors to consider. So the ground falling off on either side and yeah, I learned loads today. I enjoyed today, was scared today. Um, was tired today, knackered today, but yes, I enjoyed today. Still have to go down though, so I better get moving.